Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am Koei TGZ and in this video we are going to go over the new special class, so the ninja. So right here, this is uh, my team of ninja right here. So um, yeah, I finally got them up to level 41, 42, so uh, things have been going pretty well. Um, pretty much just leveling. Uh, what really helps is going to be uh, the Metal King coin. Uh, definitely having two of those really does help out. So uh, hopefully, let's see. Just checking out to this particular uh, ninja right here. So right now I actually have uh, 41, almost 42 million uh, XP with uh, this particular ninja. Um, in order to be level 50, you're going to need about 83 million, I believe. So um, I still about halfway there. But uh, yeah, but um, everything seems to be going pretty well with this particular uh, special class. So uh, what I want to do is actually go over it uh, real quickly. So uh, in this case, um, the ninja is going to be described as a um, class with a sharp killer instinct and secret stealth that makes this guardian of the shadows disrupts the enemy. So uh, with the ninja, you're actually going to need uh, two particular classes. So in that case, it's going to be the ranger and also pirate. So both of that need to be a level 70. So going right here, you're going to see uh, some things right over here in the top. Uh, you're going to see the um, weapons of expertise for the ninja so this is going to be the first class that's going to have uh, five weapons of expertise so here ninjas are going to be experts with axes daggers claws whips and boomerangs so that's actually uh, quite a different array uh, definitely the axe some of the things actually do mix between um, the ranger and the uh, pirate uh, but some things are actually uh, unique to uh, one of the classes so uh, here next going to the souls so here you're going to have uh, the soul slots so soul slot one is going to be yellow and blue soul slot two is also going to be yellow and blue soul slot three is going to be any color and then soul slot four is going to be just blue then here for the soul road um, you're going to have two paths so of course ranger and um, pirate so the ranger path is called the path of wind and then the uh, pirate um, is going to be the path of waves so um, in this case uh, one thing that you should know or a couple of things so each path is going to have their own unique abilities uh, but uh, definitely if you're going to be using the ranger to do um, uh, disrupt the enemy you're definitely going to want to be uh, the path of wind and I will go over that later so uh, here going into details about this actual class so right here again with the class skills you're going to first have uh kage nui which is going to be shadow weave so with shadow weave when you do a weapon physical technique or breath damage uh you give an effect that causes the enemy to lose one action so that's one action not one turn so that's going to have a 15 percent success rate so each time you're successful with this it becomes harder to get it again so like I said, this is going to be one action. So for example, if you do have um, an enemy that has three actions, if you use this, uh, they will lose one action but still have the other two. So yeah, that actually sounds uh, quite bad uh, compared to uh, Shadowbind of the Ranger, but there's actually something that you can actually do to um, level that up. So over here in the actual soul path, that's what I mentioned about the path of the wind. So at level 30 right here, at the level 30 soul path, um, you'll be actually able to upgrade uh, Shadow Weave into instead giving, instead of um, uh, giving the effect that causes enemy to lose one action, in this turn it's going to be one turn. So that's what you really need right here, so level 30. So besides that, the other uh, class skills are going to be one that we've actually seen before. So that's going to be right here. So this is going to be a uh, greater intimidation. So Iatsu Suyoi, so, um, or Siatsu Kyo. So greater intimidation is um, a skill from the uh, pirate, uh, exalted pirate. So what this does, when the pirate takes weapon, physical technique, or spell damage, 
they have a chance to greatly intimidate the enemy, causing the enemy to lose their fighting spirit. Every time the enemy loses his fighting spirit or when Romance of the Great Sea is used, the action activation rate of greater intimidation goes down. So uh, that's something that I actually have shown on my channel before and uh, I will post a card to, to that particular video in the top right here. Then next is going to be one unique to the ninja class. This is going to be Bunshi no Jitsu, which is going to be clone technique. So it is pretty much after your action finishes, you have a rare chance of being able to take another action. So a completely different action as well. So for example, you might uh, heal up or do something to support the character. Then actually, if this clicks on, you'll have a chance to do another action, which you can do um, pretty much anything you want, attack, uh, support again, or even defend. Then besides that, um, Next, what I want to do is go over the walker skill. So that's going to be found, let's see, right over here on the character page. So right here. So the walker skill is going to be this one right here. So this is going to be called uh, Clarity of the Five Senses. So with Clarity of the Five Senses, it's a ninja secret technique uh, that allows you to expand the tapping range on the field and also the range of soul chance monsters. So this lasts 20 minutes. So I will show that later in the video. So next, uh, what I want to do is actually uh, talk about the Dharma Temple uh, Trials because it's actually going to be, well, it's going to be the exact same as the other uh, classes. So pretty much for the Dharma Temple Trials, so trial one is going to be to perform uh, 10 shadow weaves. Trial two is going to be perform uh, 10 greater intimidations. Uh, trial three is going to be use uh, uh, clone technique uh, five times. And then trial four is going to be activate clarity of the five senses three times. So uh, again, I will do that later in the video. So next, what I want to do is go over the regular skills of the actual ninja. So here, gonna go find an enemy on the field, right here. Okay, so with the first uh, skill of the ninja is going to be right here. So this is going to be Roar. So we've gone over this before. This is actually a skill of the pirate. So the cost actually varies, uh, the MP cost. And with the Roar of the Savage Beast, all enemies with intimidation status effect on have the uh, effect lifted. But depending on the level of intimidation, it makes them greatly lose their fighting spirit. So uh, I can't really do anything with that since um, none of the uh, enemies here have intimidation on them, but I might be able to do something a bit later. But besides that, the next ability I want to go over is right here. This is going to be Viper Fang. So this is actually a ranger ability. So with Viper Fang, it's going to cost 5 MP. And what it is, is imbuing the blade with a deadly poison. This does 130% weapon damage to one enemy and has a chance to inflict deadly poison like this. And there I did get uh, Deadly Poison on that uh, Aqua Disciple. So here with the next ability, that's going to be right over here. This is going to be Shinobi Cutter. So Shinobi Cutter is going to cost 33 MP. And what it does, it does throwing two Shuriken. This does 130% weapon uh, damage to all enemies twice. So that's going to be like this. So this is very similar to the uh, Ranger and also the Superstar Dual Cutter. Then here on this ninja, what I'm going to do is use um, another ability uh, here from also the pirate. This is going to be Kaishin Guard, so a critical blow guard. What this does, it costs 11 MP and it reduces the damage of critical blows from weapon and physical technique attacks by 70% like this. You probably won't be able to see the actual effects of this because uh, I don't think actually the killer cramps actually do do uh, critical uh, hit damage, but I'm not sure if it will happen in this particular uh, battle. 
But uh, now next, the final ability of the actual ninja, uh, regular ability, that's going to be another one we've seen before. It's going to be uh, Nemuri Uchi, so Sleep Strike. So Sleep Strike costs 12 MP and it does 120% physical technique damage to all enemies and has a chance to put them to sleep like this. Okay, so there I got that Killer Crab to sleep. So uh, here next, I'm going to go over the Soul Road um, paths or Soul Road skills. So the first one's going to be the Ranger path, so the uh, Path of Wind. So with this, the first uh, ability is going to be right over here. So this is going to be Utsusemi no Jutsu, which is going to be Flying Cicada Technique. So this is going to cost 20 MP, and what it does, it increases evasion rate and attack power like this. So you can see right there, I have increased uh, evasion rate and attack power. Then next, uh, on the uh, wind path, we're going to have one that we've seen before plenty of times. So this is going to be Fubaha. So Fubaha, as you know, it costs 22 MP and increases the breath resistance of all characters by one rank like this. Okay. So then next with this ninja, I want to go over the pirate path. So that's going to be uh, the path of waves. So uh, the first ability here is going to be right over here. So this is going to be Oni Koroshi, which is Demon Slayer. So this costs 24 MP and greatly increases weapon and physical technique damage. So like this. So then here, uh, the next ability is going to be uh, right over here. This is Ro right here, Romance of the Great Seas. So I actually can't do anything with this since I don't have intimidation on the enemies. So what I might do is actually wait until I actually do have intimidation on them to show it to you. So gonna go back and go over this other one right here. So this is going to be Dai Bogyo, which is going to be greater defense. So this costs 10 MP and what it does is all attack damage taken is uh, taken in is reduced by 90%, so like this. Okay, there I got intimidation. So with this intimidation, what I will do is here I can actually show Roar. So Roar is going to be like this. It's going to cost 72 MP. And like I said, uh, it's going to actually convert that intimidation to uh, losing their battle spirit. So like this. So now there you can see there uh, his battle spirit is down by 1%. Or by one, so that's I want to say about a uh, twenty percent or so, twenty thirty percent or so. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so what you saw right there, uh, that little shh that you saw, that was um, that was a uh, clone technique. So I actually got a second chance to go. Um, I actually defended because I don't want to attack. But uh, here, what I'll do is um, I'll defend again. So here, gonna go attack. So there, I got a Shadow Weave. Here, I'll go attack. Another Shadow Weave there. So here, again, what I'll do is I'm going to defend. Okay, there got Intimidation. So here, since I do have um, Intimidation on the enemy, I want to try using um, Romance of the Great Seas. So again, our, what I didn't explain, so this is going to actually vary in terms of MP cost. But uh, Romance of the Great Seas is an attack meant for the Great Historic Tales. This one attack increases weapon, uh, physical technique, and breath damage depending on the enemy's intimidation level. And once the attack has been used, all intimidation that was mounted on the enemy is removed. So here I'm going to use Romance of the Great Seas. 
and like that. So pretty much it uses the strongest ability that you do have. So here going to attack. And that's going to be that there. So finally what I want to do is actually show you um, uh, clarity of the five senses. So you can see that uh, my range is actually uh, quite limited. So I can only attack uh, with people within this particular range. But if I actually put that on, you're going to see a huge change. So you can see, ooh, yes. So now I can actually tap on uh, these particular um, uh, recovery spots that I couldn't on before. So this one was far away. I can now uh, touch that. This particular enemy that was outside of my range is now within range. So I can actually fight battles from afar. like that so this is very good if you want to get certain types of enemies that are actually just right out of your range but um, you can actually now get like also when this is on clarity of the five senses is on uh, pretty much you'll be able to see um, uh, soul chance uh, make monsters on the field uh, that aren't there uh, that you with uh, without this particular ability on so this is another good reason to actually have this but uh, yeah so that's going to be everything in regards to uh, the ninja so this really is a very good class I really enjoy using it um, hopefully uh, definitely trying to get it to level 50 so I can actually use it uh, with my level 50 characters but uh, yeah with that said um, Pretty much, if I'm able to get this on tonight, uh, pretty much from t uh, January 31st, we're going to have um, the 13th chapter of the story. So uh, since that's going to be part of the main story, I will be doing, um, uh, actually covering the story for that. So please stay tuned for that. But until then, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.